Hello everyone, welcome back to ProLint. Alright, so friends, today I'm going to be teaching you how you can export files in After Effects as MP4 um, without even having the H.264 um, um, format. Alright, so it, usually, sometimes when, uh, especially if you have the After Effects 2020, alright, you will not find the H.264 option, alright, when you're trying to export or render your um, file as MP4. And that's one of the problems I ran into when I did this particular design. You can see this particular intro over here, just a short intro I made with After Effects. And then when I was done doing this design, I tried to render this as MP4. And then I found out that my After Effects 2020 um, didn't have the H.264 um, um, format. And so I couldn't render this as MP4. And so I was looking for an option on how I can render this as MP4. And I found one. And so I'm going to be quickly showing you in this example how you can render this as MP4. Alright, so if you go over to this section now, you are done with your design and everything. You just come over to this section where you see composition and then click on add to render queue. Alright, in the add to render queue, I've rendered this several times. And so don't bother yourself with this. I'm going to just close this box over here. Alright, so I want to render this. Now, the first thing I need to do right now is come over to this section where I see lossless. And I click on lossless. Now in the lossless tab, friends, the section where you see AVI, you just click on the down arrow key and then come over to this section where you see quick time. Right? If you are using After Effects 2020, I believe all of these options should be available. Now, if you are using After Effects, maybe a, a um, an older version, I think you should have the H264 option over here. Right? So one of the ways in which you can still render this as MP4 is to download um, the media encoder. Right? So you can download media encoder and still render this as MP4. But then I'm going to be showing you how you can do this without the media encoder and then without the H264 file type. All right, so just click on QuickTime. And with the QuickTime already selected, um, friends, you just come over to this section where you see OK, click on OK. All right, then you come over to this section where you say Output to, and then it says Not yet specified. Click on that Not yet specified and choose where you want your file to appear. And maybe I want it to appear over here. And now I can call it Main. Now you can see over here, this is going to export as an MOV file and not an MP4 file. Alright, so you can see over here it's telling me QuickTime MOV, right? Not MP4 file. I'm going to show you how I'm how, how I'll be able to render this as MP4. Alright, so I'm just going to click on save. Alright, so having done all of that, the next thing I need to do is come over to this button and click on render. Alright, so if I click on render right now, it's going to take a while, and then this is my PC is quite fast, so it's going to just render this um, and then save this document, save it in my PC. Let me quickly open my um, file and then show you where this. Um, particular work appeared. I'm going to be back when this is done rendering, friends. All right. So now, friends, this is done rendering, and I, right now I'm going to show you where my document, where our design appeared. All right, as an MOV file. So I come over to my PC, open up Documents, and I'm going to look for that particular document we just exported right now. It's called main. All right, this is the document we just exported right now. Now, if I try to open this particular file with um, a, a player other than VLC, it's not going to work. All right, if I try to open it with something else, another player, it's not going to work. I can open this file type with VLC, but that's not what I want to do right now. Now, if I just highlight on this particular video over here, now you can see the file size, 905 megabytes. All right, so this, this particular intro video it was just about four seconds, I believe. All right, so it was just about four seconds actually. The design itself was just about four about four seconds, and I'm seeing 905 megabytes for this um, exported video. And the video was exported as an MOV file, and then it's not good enough. All right, so you don't want an you what you want is an MP4 file type, and then you want the file size to be as small as possible because it's just a four seconds video. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can quickly do this um, here in your PC. All right, so quickly, friends, if you don't have um the handbrake tool all right i would like you to quickly download the handbrake tool and then that's going to help you compress this file as an mp4 file so i just come over to my desktop now i've already downloaded this handbrake tool now the handbrake tool is very much handy if you are using filmora or you are using after effects or you are using any video editing tool that makes that when you export files the file size are too large make sure you get this handbrake tool this is what youtubers use um, this is what video editors use the good thing about the handbrake tool is that it compresses the image to mp4 file it does not only compress the image it also retains the quality all right so it doesn't reduce the quality while compressing the image and it compresses it as minimal as possible all right so i'm going to just click on double tap on my handbrake tool and open it up all right, friends, um, this is how the handbrake tool looks when it opens up. This is the handbrake app, and this is how it looks when it opens up. All right, so friends, what I need to do right now is to drag my video file and place it inside here. So I go over to my PC and then locate the file I want to place. And this is the file. It's called main. Um, 
and this is the file I want to place. I just drag this file and I place it inside this handbrake. All right, so I drag it and drop it inside here. And now you're just gonna allow the file to load and it's going to finish um, scanning the title of the file and everything. All right, so this is the file I want to compress um, here in um, handbrake. Now the next thing I need to do is click on browse, select the location where I want this file to appear. And let me just quickly select um, the same place on my document folder. And I'm going to call this compressed. All right, so I'm going to call this compressed. Now you can see over here, we have an MP4 file type. You can make it MKV, but I don't like that. This is a, what we want is an MP4 file type. Now what this is going to do is that it's going to compress that After Effects file as MP4. It's going to convert it to an MP4 file type, compress it to kilobytes. All right, and then it's going to retain the quality. And that's that's how wonderful the Handbrake tool can um, be when helping you to compress files. Not just After Effects file types. It can also be Filmora videos. It can be, um, 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 videos that are done with any video editing to be it Filmora, Filmora be it Adobe um, apps and the likes. All right, so basically what it does is that the Handbrake tool compresses videos right, and then help you retain the quality while minimizing the amount of memory space it contains. All right, so I'm going to click on save and having clicked on save, I just click on start encode and it's going to take just some minutes and it's going to quickly encode you see this is going to be very fast because it has detected the file now you're going to see what happens when it's finished encoding this it's quite fast right now and it's going to take a while all right so at this point right now you can see it has to, it's saying it's saying q finished so I, I go back to my pc and locate where i saved that file and okay this is the file we saved over here friends All right, friends, so this is the file we saved just now. And let me quickly open up the file. And now before opening up the file, let me show you the file size. Now you can see the file size was compressed from 905 megabytes to 486 kilobytes. That's how awesome the um, handbrake tool and can perform. And I'm just gonna double tap on this file and then you're going to see the file we just compressed right now. And here you go, you have your MP4 file type, um, your design created in After Effects, compressed, and then the quality is still retained. And now you can see how the Handbrake tool was able to help us convert our file type to MP4 without us having to use the H.264 um, format in After Effects. And then we're able to not just compress the file type to kilobytes, we're also able to retain the quality um, of this particular file type. And that's basically how we're able to export our file type as MP4 from After Effects, friends. Without wasting much of your time, friends, I'd like you to um, open up your designs right now in After Effects and then practice what you've learned. Do have a nice day, friends.